Here the well-known three-point lighting uh, technique is very well-known um, in the photography world and the designer world. We all use the three-point uh, lighting for objects that don't move, really, for still objects. Um, there are other ways uh, that you can light the scene using environmental lighting, as we talked about before. Uh, and it will, it will come up again in another lesson. I just want to show you the three-point lighting. So here I have my uh, my little forklift there. Um, yeah, and I have one light there only, which is over there. Right, so the first thing, I've already got my camera position, which is great. So I'll just put it here. Something is going on here in my blender. Yeah, that's it. Right. So in my view here, I want to move now. I don't want to lock the camera. So I just want to see where the camera is. The camera is over there. So they have the way the three-point light works is first I need to know where my camera is, where my subject is uh, in relation to the camera. So then I'm going to put three lights. Um, I'm not going to change the type of light at the moment. I'm just going to leave this point light. So it should be around 45 degrees. Yeah, something like that. I'll put it down a little bit. 45 degrees, uh, the object that you, your subject that you are lighting. Right. And uh, if I look here, uh, the power uh, is this is the power in apparently in the earlier versions of Blender this is different this is called energy so just be aware of which version you're using here's the power uh, thousand watts watts I don't know how you say that right okay leave it like that and this is going to be my first light yeah it's coming from there got a big shadow there shadow you control here if you want to make it less uh, softer yes. if you make it softer you can change here in the bias yeah so you can change that right so let's just go back to my top view yeah so now I'm gonna call this this is our key light I'm just gonna put it down here um, this is the key light which is the main important light for this lighting system so we call it key light Then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to call it um, fuel light. So it's going to be a softer light that will be on the other side of the object here, more or less. So you have 45, another kind of 45 here, and with less powers. I don't know, I'm just this is. You know, I don't know, I'm just putting 600 here. It's up to you. You can always think, I mean, lighting is something that takes a long time. I mean, to, to, when you really want to make a nice lighting, it's, there are many ways you can do it quicker now, but it's, it's nice to take the time, right? So we don't need that shadow. We don't want sh sh shadowing from all over the place. Um, and then we need a backlight to give that rim, to create that rim at the back. So I just duplicate that and I come down here and also, I don't know, 400. Yeah. So, and I'll kind of, so let's have a look at how it's looking. So that rim gives that kind of shiny shiny rim around the object. Maybe this object is not, hasn't got a lot anyway, but uh, it's quite sharp and I didn't apply any materials to this object, so it's not even reflecting anything. Um, right, okay, so that's how it works. So maybe I put this light a little bit closer. Yeah, so if I look at zero now, yeah, this is very much like studio lighting, you know, it's not sunlight or anything. You you can change light here, the sun, 
Uh, mind you, if you change, uh, you need to change all the options here. Yeah. See if you put that one as a sun. Whoa, it's too strong. Yeah, so you can, I don't know, 100. It's just too much now. All right, so let's have a look. Yeah, that is completely changed because it's, if it's the sun, you don't really need the other two. Uh, you know, it's, this is this equivalent to studio lighting. You can use spotlights and area light, which I will explain at some point. An area light is it's, uh, a light that occupies uh, an area. It's not like a point. Point light is just emitting 360 degree lights in all directions. Uh, an area light, which looks very different here from what I'm used to, is pointing that way. Oh yeah, so it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a shape, it's coming as a rectangle light, rectangle shape, yeah. And you can direction, you can direct the light, the same as the spotlight. Spotlight, you see the kind of cone. Yeah, it depends what you're lighting. If you are, this, this spotlight's good if you have a lamp and it, this is the light of the lamp and so on. Yeah, I, li I like the area light. It gives kind of very soft lighting. Yeah, so, yeah. And then we need to render this. Um, I know it's dark. I mean, I haven't applied any material on the floor or anything, but I just wanted to show you. And ideally, would have something in the background as well. Yeah, so look at this. We could potentially use... This is environmental lighting. Of course, then I don't need all of these things. But I'm not doing that now. I'm just talking about the environmental... Sorry, the three-point lighting. Okay, let's have a look at the render, render image, and we'll render that. Oh, Suzanne is there, forgot about that. So, close that, Suzanne. I think she rendered, so I don't want her. I can come to Suzanne here and either delete her or just say that uh, she doesn't render. I don't know exactly what I put her. I'm just going to delete her. So, right, okay, if I render. Yeah. So here you go, we've got a little soft light. I mean, there's no material in my <laughs> in my object here. I can add some metallic material here. This is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to cover some materials in the next lesson. Uh, next subjects is coming up. All right then, that's all for now. See you in the next video.